Hey everybody, this is Brett, and I want to tell you about some thoughts that I have and have had in the past in regards to environmental illness and pollution and all of that because, you see, a long time ago I learned that the reason that I was sick was largely due to that for which I had been exposed to in the past. It was the mercury fillings that they put into my mouth. It was the air pollution that I breathed every day when I lived in Los Angeles when I was a kid and San Diego and other places. It was the pesticides in the foods that I was eating. And it was the outgassing of various things that were in the houses that I lived in. It was all kinds of things that I was being exposed to that were weakening my immune system and making me weaker and weaker and less able to deal with various bacteria that were invading my body, food allergies, you know, all kinds of things that were clogging my body and, and creating me, making me react to things. And, and so I started to think to myself that there was just no way that I could continue to stay in society and that I needed to get away. And how was I going to be able to do that, you know? And thank God the internet came along and has now allowed me to largely get away from, you know, municipal water and automobiles spewing the crap out into the air. And in any case, I started to think that, you know, everything needs to be made out of natural materials. And the other day, I was watching a video on how the fires in California are not just burning wood and other natural materials into the air, but they're burning all kinds of plastics and chemicals into the air, because as soon as a house starts on fire, it's spewing all of this into the air, and that makes people even sicker. Okay, so this house, you see those walls right there? Those walls are filled with two inch thick foam insulation. Okay, and if this cabin were to catch on fire, all of that would go up in smoke, and anyone downwind from it would get to breathe it. Okay, so it's a strange thing to think about that human beings eventually have to get to this point of where they are making everything out of natural materials because everything needs to decompose. Everything needs to gradually break down and it needs to do that in a manner that's not detrimental to our healths because everything gets back into the air or it gets back into the water or the soil and those are the things that we need for air, food, and water. And so it's kind of a heavy subject for us to think about but it's definitely something that we have to start thinking about and that's why I'm making this video. And, um, you know, you really need to study environmental illness because if you don't, then it's going to eventually come back to you because you haven't educated yourself and, and started making changes. And even though I've been doing this for a long time, my health still isn't really, really great. It's okay. It's a lot better than it was. I can tell you that I'd definitely be dead by now if I hadn't changed. And so it's just a matter of mm, gradually, gradually working your way into a new life. And Getting a new job is a big part of that. Being able to provide for yourself, but still, you know, make these changes. 
And I can't tell you exactly how to do it, but I do offer holistic consultations that can lead you in the direction that I've been doing with my life. And so, um, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And um, the rain from Hurricane Florence is supposed to start hitting today at around noon one o'clock and it's supposed to go for about three days and drop like maybe 10 inches so we'll see but I should be good this cabin's been here for supposedly 75 years <laughs> and I'm sure that it's seen a lot of crazy storms so thanks for joining me be well